What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to yet another trading education video. All right, I made one yesterday about um, about shorting the top and uh, and some tips and tricks on how to find tops in crypto, uh, to know where to sell your cryptos, but also for potential shorts, like I said. Uh, and in this video, I wanted to talk about something else. It's, it's something that's very specific, but a lot of people actually do have trouble with this. And there's just a lot of there's a lot of misconceptions about this this idea, all right? And um, well, you probably already know it by the title and the thumbnail, and that is hunting stop losses, all right? Something that a lot of traders, especially retail traders, of course, in crypto say, is that, well, when I, when I open a trade with a stop loss, basically what just happens is that uh, exchanges hunt my stop loss, the price goes up to my stop stop loss, and then um, and and then I'm liquidated, or the position is is uh, is, is is done, and then the price goes in my direction. And I think that's a little bit of a fallacy. All right, if you get stop loss hunted, um, there is something like that, and I'll tell you about this video uh, uh, briefly. But the thing is, is that then the the trade setup just was not good enough. All right, because you can actually take into account stop loss hunting. Or basically, um, a different word I, you could use for it is liquidity grabbing. All right, because and um, exchanges, most exchanges, and I've, I've don't do this. All right, and I've never had uh, major evidence uh, that exchanges do this. Now there are two parties who do do this, and that's big traders, whales. They they do uh, hunt stop losses, but I'll, I'll tell you in a moment what what it really is and market makers all right market makers basically uh, make sure that there's liquidity and volume in trading but sometimes uh, the way they actually make money off of market making a certain cryptocurrency um is is by actually trading it themselves as well all right some something like that it's it's more difficult in reality but you don't need to know that all right so stop loss hunting basically what it is is it's liquidity grabbing all right because market makers and wills can see where at, at which levels a lot of people open longs and shorts and based on that they also know where a lot of liquidity is so what they do is that all right they know that for example right here a lot of people would short uh, bitcoin at forty four thousand five hundred. they know that because they can see that in the order books and they can see that uh, on the chart that there's a resistance so what that means is if a lot of people short here that means that a lot of uh, stop losses and liquidation levels liquidity is up here because if your stop loss or liquidation um, uh, order hits if that if, if the price gets there you actually buy the underlying asset all right so if you short and it hits your stop loss then you have to buy the asset at a higher price so that's why uh, you lose money so what happens then is that liquidity zones arise and that's what you need to know about all right you need to know where those liquidity zones are and liquidity zones like i said are basically zones in price or price areas where a lot of people have their stop loss and their liquidation levels all right so what happens often is that these market makers and wills push the price up or push the price down to those li li uh, liquidation levels or liquidity areas uh, and then the price grabs that liquidity, makes sure everybody uh, gets their stop loss activated or liquidated. Uh, they make money off of that, which you don't need to get into how that works. But basically, they can unload their positions into that liquidity and then the price reverses. So the key thing you just need to know and which you need to take into account in your analysis and when you open a trade is where those liquidity levels are. And I wanted to uh, do a little bit of a different approach with you in, in this video. Basically, I just wanted to do live uh, trading or live looking for, for setups. All right. So one example, I think this is a good example. I'm actually not sure. Uh, but what you need is, again, coin glass. All right. So coin glass, uh, C-O-I-N-G-L-A-S-S dot com. And you'll get here. And basically what you need to look up is here at the top liquidation and then liquidation heat map. This is your best friend, all right? And then you can uh, look up the crypto right here. So for example, uh, link perpetual on Binance. And then you look at the last, let's say the last week, because the last week link has been very bullish, um, even a little bit longer, but still, yeah, let's do, let's do a little bit longer. All right. Um, I'm not sure if this is a, if this is really a good example, but I, but I think so. Uh, so basically what you can see right here is this is the liquidation heat map. So basically what you can see is that where at this moment, where the most yellow areas are, 
there's the most liquidity, all right? So there's always a bit of a magnet to those levels. Like the price gets pulled towards those levels because those are that's places where there's a lot of liquidity. So whales and market makers try to push the price towards those areas. Now, it's not as easy to, like you, you cannot easily use it to determine where the price is going. Like for example, right now, uh, there's liquidity to the upside and the downside. Uh, but let's get back to, to the 1st of February, all right? So that was when Link was starting to get bullish right here. So that was right here, the 1st of February. Now, let's say that you wanted to short here, which would not have been a smart choice. But let's say you would have wanted to short here. What you would have done is you would have looked at, all right, well, I can see the price was right here. You could see that most of the liquidity was all the way from 16.1 all the way up to $17. So if you know that most of the liquidity is there, what you can do if you wanted to short there is place your stop loss above that, all right? Because then you know that your liquidation or stop loss level is not at the same price as most retail traders. And um, liquidation heat maps are not 100% accurate, but they do give you a good idea. Um, in this case, it did not work, all right? Because Link was just way too bullish. <laughs> Um, so there's that. I mean, it, like I said, it, it does not always work. Maybe we can find another example. Let's say, um, uh, let's say you want to short, let's say you want to short Rune. I'm not sure if, if Rune, maybe, maybe this way doesn't work. Maybe I should have actually looked up examples before I actually, uh, before I did this, uh, but maybe Rune will give us, uh, give us somewhat of a good example. But I do hope that you that you understand where I'm coming from. All right. So here you can see it a little bit. All right. So for example, no, this is not a good example. No, this isn't. Uh, it, 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 it very much isn't. Maybe I can find another example. But in general, the idea, like I said, is that you can see where that liquidity is. And if you're shorting, you can put your stop loss above that. If you want to go long and you see that there's a, a lot of liquidity to the demand side, then you can put your stop loss below that. All right, welcome back. I found another example on, uh, on Sui. It did not take too long, but uh, but still, I mean, I, I don't want to look through all the fares and that you have to watch through that. Uh, so Sui, all right. So we're talking about this moment right here, the 5th of, December, uh, 5th of February. So Sui was very bullish. Maybe you're looking to short it. Um, to be honest, I mean, it, it doesn't matter. In, in this case, I probably would not have looked for a short, um, but let's just hypothetically say you wanted to short Sui because you saw that it was bullish and you did not think it was going to break out. If you looked at the liquidation heat map, what you could see is that there was at that moment, like this is the 5th of February, you could see that there was a, a lot of liquidity, basically from 1.63 all the way up to 1.69. So what you could have done is that when it got to that liquidity, liquidation levels are also sometimes good entry levels, but you could have put your, put your stop loss above that if you were shorting it. And this way you can actually see that it, it grabbed that liquidity right here. So it liquidated a lot of people uh, and then the price reversed. So this is, I think the best example. Um, and that is how you can avoid your, your stop losses and your liquidation levels being hunted, all right? Just know where most of the liquidity is and make sure that your liquidity, um, uh, the, the stop loss or the liquidation level of your trade is above that or just not in that area, all right? Not, not even close to it. Um, and that is how you can prevent it. If you do have any questions, I might have missed something that's, that's very well possible, then let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, this is how to avoid your stop loss getting hunted or your liquidation getting hunted. Like I said, if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, have a great weekend. Take care and bye.